Why do brakes of a train have to be more powerful than the brakes of a bicycle? Take a look at this bicycle. Anyone would know that the bicycle isn't that massive as compared to that of a train over here. Now, if you have two objects, in this case a bicycle and a train, and you need to push them, you know intuitively that the bicycle would require a lesser force to move because it isn't that massive. The train, on the other hand, would require a much larger force to make it move. So, let a force be applied on the bicycle so that its velocity increases from zero to a certain value. By the way, velocity is just speed with a direction. Now, if we need to increase the velocity of the massive object, which is the train, from zero to the velocity of the bike, in the same time, a much larger force would be required. Similarly, if I wish to stop the bike, I can use a lesser force to stop it, but a much greater force will be required to stop the train. This comes from the equation P equals mv where P stands for momentum, M is the mass of the body, V is the velocity. So momentum is equal to the mass and velocity of an object. In other words, it's not just the speed of the moving object, but also its mass that needs to be taken into account while assessing the object's motion. So to summarize, lighter objects will require lesser force to move and to stop them, Massive objects will require more force to move and to stop them. And that's why you need powerful brakes to stop a massive train and not your bike. Do like and comment if you found this physics explainer useful.